Hello and welcome to another edition of The Sewing Guru. Now for this particular video we are going to be covering constructing the front panels of a pair of trousers. Now this includes attaching the two front panels together and also then attaching the fly zip. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set the crease in the front of the trousers. If you're not going to put a crease in, just ignore this part. Now, enabling you to see where the crease is, uh, I have notched parts here at the start, the top of the trousers, um, and these are for pleats and tucks. So, with the trousers, just Take each piece separately, like so, and for me, I'm going to find out where the first notch is for this crease. Okay. Now, if you haven't got any pleats in the front of your trousers, then you can just halve it, like so, and just do the crease from so roughly where the trousers are going to be halved, like so. Okay. So just do the front crease like so. Now for me, because I have pleats, you establish where the first, the first notch is closest to where the fly front is going to be. So that would be here. This is the first one. And with the wrong sides of the trousers facing you, just fold this over. so that this part here this here is all aligned the edge the edge of the trousers here are aligned so start off I, I always prefer to start off from the very bottom of the trouser itself from the hem make sure that this is all aligned together and just iron just press your crease in move along to the next part and again make sure that all these are aligned along to the crutch part this here is the crutch part here make sure that that's aligned and again press that in press the crease in Like so. Just keep pressing and aligning this. And then when you reach the top, find, find the first notch and just press that in. Like so. and then repeat that with the other side so again this we need to be having the wrong side facing us so in this case it would be like so and again position this along here so it's aligned and press that in Top, find the first notch point, press that, and just keep working your way down to again to the hem at the bottom. Make sure all this is aligned here. Just keep and just press right the way down. to the bottom of the trousers. Just keep pressing right along like so. Now when when you have done your creases, now these these are the creases here, they'll be right in the middle 
right in the middle of the trouser, as you can see. The crease is right in the middle of the trouser. Start off by, because this is now what we're going to do, is position for the zip now. Put the right sides together on the crutch point. Two pieces together, make that you make sure that they are all completely aligned. And just press those. Like so. Now I have here an eight inch zip. Just put the zip where the where this jagged edge is here to the very top of the trousers and position that, position the zip alongside the crutch line here and just find the point where the zip ends. Now in some cases it's metal, in some cases it's plastic and just put a pin where that ends like so. So as you can see that there is going to be now the opening for the front fly zip and when you've done that from the pin stitch using a one centimeter seam allowance around here but don't stitch right to the end leave a gap leave a gap about one half centimeters to about this point here so we're stitching from here one centimeter in to about this point here so there we go what I've done is I've stitched with a small gap and the reason why there is a gap here will come apparent later on when you're actually stitching the crutch points attaching them round to the back okay uh, and I've stitched to here so the next point is to it's to basically attach the fly so get the part which has is your fly uh, and has got the interfacing in and this part here wants to be lying sort of this way because this interfacing wants to be lying onto this part here so manipulate by putting this piece onto this part here and turn that over and stitch from the bottom, just put the pins in, to the top. So we're stitching right, basically attaching this part in, we're stitching from here right along to here. Right, so when you've stitched the fly part with the fusing on from here, as you can see, the next part is to do a stitch you can actually, it's probably a lot easier if you just press this down, like so. Now, if you notice, this actually is coming over a little bit here. Just, you need to put it as close to the crutch stitching here as you possibly can. So the next part is just stitch this fly part down with the top stitching right along to here going through all of the seams so you, you're basically stitching through all the seams from this point to here okay so when you've achieved that the top stitching on here as you can see it's really neat right on the edge now the next part is to just turn this over and just press this down. Like so. Turn this back over and you can now see clearly, let's press this part here as well, clearly see now the trouser zip starting to take effect. Okay, so this fly here you can clearly see it's starting to take effect. Now the next part 
is get your other fly pieces here and we need to be stitching let's take this out stitching around from here all the way around to here and back up again and we will bag this fly out okay so when you've done that and you've stitched round here get the scissors and just cut the corners out like so and also just on the curve again stitch right close to the seam so that we'll get a real nice curve when we bag this out and just do that just bag this out bag this through like so just pull all this through the whole lot just bring the whole lot through and then with some scissors just manip manipulate these parts here the corners and the curve here and just press this you get some sharper scissors to get into the into the points uh, so that you can really manipulate these points here like so and ju just press this down just just press this whole thing down like so okay and then just edge stitch from here round to here and then up to here and then just close it off by stitching across the top okay so when you've done that just give this a press and this here is the part where we're going to be attaching the zip to. So just simply stitch your zip onto this part. Now you can tell it's this part because if I bring over the, the trousers, this here is where your zip is going to be. It's going to be within there. Okay, so it's closed like so. So just stitch from here to here and you're using a zip footer for the sewing machine for this so that you can get right near the edge now when you've done that turn over the whole trouser part and where the zip the fly is we're now going to just press this over now it's very important if I just now I'll just show you when you when you press here near the fly you only press over a small amount don't press the whole lot back like so just press so that it's overlapping this part because otherwise you're going to see the zip underneath now that's something you don't want this prevents the zip from being seen when you've got it closed and you're wearing your trousers so and then the further you get up to here you can just even it out um, and then make this one centimeter over but over here this is imperative that this actually crosses over so now that I've pressed that if I now show you on this side because this is pressed over just that small amount you have a gap here it sort of goes in underneath this fly part so if I attach the zip onto there like so the zip already starts inside underneath here underneath this fly part here so as you can see there is absolutely no way you're going to see the zip because of how far it is actually back so yes the next part what you do 
is we need to be stitching from the plastic part or the metal part, whichever zip you've got, right the way across to the top. And just, just attach that on right near the coil of the zip, the part that you've pressed. Just pin that in. Just keep pinning that. And we are now going to be attaching the zip from here right the way down, getting the whole zip in, right the way down and just stitching right on the edge, getting the whole coil in and we're stitching to the top here. Okay, so again you need the zip foot right across. So when you're, when you're stitching, the easiest way is close the whole zip, stitch up to about here, lift up the foot, make sure the needle's down, lift up the foot, pull the zip, fly, pull it back, put the foot down and carry on stitching and that way you can get past this because this part here is quite a lot of bulk okay so just do that now right so as you can see I've now attached this zip in and the top and the top stitching is right along the edge of the seam right near the coil and it's gone right to the end okay so as you can see that slides open very nicely like so now the next part is just position this fly part down where it does look very neat. Just press that if you like, like so. And just turn this over. And grab the zip inside. Just grab the zip inside, like so, and hold that and put a pin in to manipulate where that is, like so. Now, now that you know where the zip is and you're comfortable with that, this all needs to lie where the fabric wants to lie. So just position the zip where it wants to lie here and again put another zip, another pin in here and you can open the zip just open the zip back like so now what I like to do is as long as we've got this point here just I prefer to get the zip just a bit further back than from the seam line. As you can see here, it's, it's actually very, very close to the seam line. So I just like to get that further back like so, but keeping the same position. Put a pin in the new position here, and then make sure that the rest of the zip runs out straight across the fly part. And again, just put a pin in here to hold that down. Just manipulate that, just close the zip again. And you put another pin here. Just put another pin over here, like so. Now, before you stitch that on, you need to just make sure, just by having a look to see how this is going to lie, make sure that everything's lying down properly, like so, and just close the zip and see where the fabric wants to lie. Now, if there's no puckering, like so, right along, then you're fine. Just go ahead, like mine, mine's okay. So, go ahead and stitch from here to the top. Right, so as you can see, I've now attached that part of the zip into this part of the fly. So just close that zip up, put this the correct way, 
and as you can see just make that lie all flat you can see that it is just lying really neat and the zip is nearly ready it's nearly in okay now the last part what you need to do is open your zip and just make the fabric this part here and lay the fabric like so this part here needs to lie onto the fabric like so and again don't force any of the fabric parts make sure that this wants to lie where it is and just make sure that that is really nicely flat onto this part here and just put some pins into the fly part attaching this fly part to the main body of the trousers right so the next part what you need to do and the easiest way is to stitch it like that place it on the sewing machine as we've got it now like so and stitch it from here about a centimetre in from the edge of the overlocking here and stitch along right along and then curve your stitching back in and make sure that you go over the top just behind and just after either the metal part or the plastic part of the fly zip itself here you see is where the zip ends like so just here so the curving of the stitching needs to just lie just beyond that plastic part so stitch from here round to here right to the edge of where this is folded so just to this point just to this point here okay right so basically what I've done is I've stitched along just take these pins out that I've held that together and I've stitched from the top round to here now when you turn this over like so you have a really nice curve here and it's just holding the whole thing in place now you basically you cannot get by doing that, that you cannot get right to the very very edge which you want to do so make sure that everything is lined together on the uh, the fly part like so the two parts make sure that's all together and stitch just a back tack a few times across here securing this part here right through the whole lot so we're going through here right through to the underneath. When you've done that just secure these two parts as well so you can just stitch from here around uh, and it, what it does is secures these so you, it's up to you which way you do it you can do it this way first and then secure that or you can secure that first and then stitch this down uh, it is up to you but if you do those two parts now just secure that and stitch here right so as you can see what I've done is I've back tacked across here a few times to secure this point here which is the bottom of the zip and also just sewn across here attaching this fly part together so there we have it the front panels attached of the trousers with a front fly zip in uh, and now we are ready to be able to put the front pockets in and for me because I've got pleats I'm going to align all those.